that's that 10 o'clock, 60 degrees. I'm barely hanging on to the green. Is it a super pull? It's a cut. That's my best punch out ever. Hey guys, how you doing? It's your boy Bam. Today we're at Golf Hammock. It is 12.15 in the afternoon, 88 degrees, sunny Florida. We're playing from the Reds, baby. Playing from the Reds. I'm gonna try to hit, I'm gonna try to break par, but we'll see what happens. I mean, it's the same, it's this, people think just because you move up to the Reds, it's easy. No, no, now you gotta, now you gotta use your other clubs. You can't just bang driver, chip it up, and then put it in. Now I gotta bring out my seven iron off the tee. I gotta bring out my three iron off the tee, maybe. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I said that three times. I'll catch y'all on the tee box. Okay, we're on hole one, baby. Got the cart cam up. Uh, electric, or gas power golf carts, no bueno when you're driving on the golf cart. So every time I talk to you, I will be sitting still. I got 204 yards to the pin. So I got my five iron. Nice, silky smooth five iron. We'll see what it does. All right, right side. Might have hit a tree, might have not have. We'll see when we get up there. All right, we got 54 yards to the pin. I got a 60 degree. I'm gonna hit a little, I'm gonna go nine o'clock, 60 degree. A little nipper. Oh, sunny, sunny, sun. Right on there, right on the edge of the green. All right, I got 20 foot for the bird. It's breaking left. <laughs> I've been working on uh, getting it past the hole because you miss 100% of the sh shots you leave short. And that stuck with me. All right, starting with a par. Who is he that's a par ski? Here we go, eight more to go. Okay, hole two, it's a par five. This is where we can either this, this is where I really just need to just, I'm just not even gonna say the bad. This is where we need to capitalize, eagle shots. We have 358 yards. So it's just a, just a par four. It's just a par four. Just a par four, driver in hand, going over these trees you're about to see in a second. That was so good, it hit a tree. Man, that was so good, guys. Ah, oh, all right, all right, let's keep it moving. Next shot mentality. Lost my tee, found my tee. Not sure how long I have to the hole. I guess I, I no, because I'm, I gotta hit a little, little sting, pull, draw, thing. Let's see what I got, four iron. There we go, roll baby, nope, 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 stop. Hit a super pull, but you see where I hit it where I wanted to hit it? And look at this guy. Come on, son, give it to me. Figured it's a good time to let y'all know. If y'all don't know who I am, I am Bam Michael, and you are now part of the Bam Fam. As long as you hit that subscribe button, lock in your family membership. Welcome to the team, guys. I am a guy trying to become a scratch golfer in one year. I'm currently down to a 13 handicap. I started at a 22, and this is day 62. Follow along the journey with that. I do daily vlogs on my Instagram. And I try to put out like three to four videos a week on here. So now that you got that, I'm looking at 55 yards uphill, 60 degree in hand. 55. Let's go nine o'clock. Sit. 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 Stay. 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 Slid right on me. I'm barely hanging on to the green. 40 foot bird putt, put it in the hole. Sliding a little bit this way, not a lot. These greens are so fast, so beautiful. Stop. Well, oh Lord, I got it past the hole. Yeah, pretty straight putt. Straightforward, nothing to this, no grease, no nothing. Should go right in the middle of the hole. Oh. oh, oh, not the bowl. I got a bowl, guys. That's crazy. I just, just let go of my line a little bit. Fell in love with the line, didn't hit enough pace. 
just a little on that. That's a cool little bow. That's fine. One over through two. I have 121 yards. I'm gonna go sandwich. Do you believe a sandwich flew 122 yards? Like flew. I, I hit that 130. I don't have to start doing the clock clockwork. That's gonna be a 10 o'clock sand wedge now. Bryce and the Shambo, thank you for the clock system. All right, there's a lot of wind. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm gonna putt this. I don't have a, I don't have too much of a lip right here. It's pretty low. I'm just gonna pop it up, roll it right into the hole. We're out of there. Got like a 10 footer. Son, that's a parski. Woo! That's another parski. Okay, so we're looking at. Well, that's a lie. I'm glad I'm not going off of this. It says 278 from the Reds, but it's not. It's like 350. That's what it said on the stone back there. Looks like I'm gonna have to shoot this. Never mind. I am getting like 270 to the bunker, so 278. That means I can get there with driver. Oh, good lord. I'm kind of excited where to see where this goes. 278? Yeah, too, that's all I got as a driver. I ain't hitting anything else, 278. So a nice little baby driver, a little baby swing. I'm on the right. I'm pin high. I've been working on my swing. I'm hitting dead, dead in the middle, and I'm not killing anymore. I'm just letting my hands go. I just gotta dial in the rollover. But yeah, strong, 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 strong power fade. All right, I got 34 yards. I'm screaming because it's windy outside. I'm gonna hit a little flop. Yep. So now I know out of a fluffy lie, like two or three inches, I'm hitting my 56 and I hit that high on the face. All right, we got a flat surface. I'm gonna hit a bump and run with a 56. I'm gonna try to land it right here. Take some spin off, roll right into the hole. Oh! I'm making a mess of this hole. All right, I got like 25 foot. The thing about using a 56 for a bump and run is it runs, it runs. Unless you land on a little bit of a fringe, it's gonna run, especially on these greens. These greens don't play at all. I gotta get this in for par, man. Just because you're playing from the ribs don't mean it's gonna be easy. You gotta use every tool in the book. Break, 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 break. Have some kind of break. Oh, the break was at the end. Bogey. Let's keep it moving, boys. Ah, let's keep it moving. We're still good. We got we got birdies to get. That's ah, a bug, dude, for a bird. We got 304 yards on this par four. 300. Yeah, that's that's one good drive, and I'm in the hole. You know what I'm saying? One good drive, and I'm in the hole. We got got five holes left, baby. Five holes left. Feels great out here. It's a windy day. It's a windy day. Let's get it. All right, dumb dumb over here forgot to hit the record. So I hit a strong power fade. Who am I kidding? I hit a slice up here by the right side of the hole. Come on. Dropped it right here on this hill about 45 yards away. Little flopper up there begging it to go. Hits the front of the fringe and rolls up. Looks close, but I got about 25 feet left. 25 feet for the bird. And yes, I did forget it was a bird. And I just walked up and I hit the ball. And I don't know what the hell I was doing. I told y'all this the whole way walking up here. But now it's time to clean up this little nasty five foot par. Get the paddle and tap, tap, tap it in. We see that's a parski. Parski. You know it with the parski. Guys, I cannot express how much you cannot relax. Like, I, I, I went into the challenge thing. Open the reds, hit it up there, put it in the hole. No, when you get up there, you have so much work to do. You have so much work to do. So the best thing I can think of is play every shot like it's a bogue save. 
got to make the bogue saves. We got a par on that one. We got a 347 yard par five. It said 407 back there. Either way, I'm hitting a driver. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, last time I'm doing the voiceover until I finally figured it out, but I'm trying to take this over the tree gap. I started off strong, but my power slice just kicked in and ended up way over here on the right side. And I proceeded to smoke an imaginary ball, goes all the way on the green and in the hole. Oh, I'm gonna get this shit under control one day. I didn't have the mic turned on, so I'll just do a little voiceover on that. Got my mic back on. All right. I got 158 yards to that pretty little pin over there underneath all these trees. I'm gonna hit a stinger. Face open this time. To be honest with you guys, I don't know where that ball went. I know I hit a tree and I know that was a beautiful stinger. Man, man. My fault for being in these woods though. Stay out the woods, you won't have to hit stingers. Your boy, I got 100 yards to the pin. I got a root right behind my ball. I break my ankle in my club if I don't hit this. Perfect. Did I say ankle? I meant my... I better not break my ankle swinging a club. 100 yards. Go 60 degree. Full swing. Not kill it, just full swing. Oh, the wind got that one. Oh, the wind got that one. Oh my God, I was right on a root, guys. I basically hit that, used the bounce of the 60. You see how high that went? I don't even know if I can get a shot tracer on that one. But we're up there. All right, probably like 40 feet. You know what I'm doing, bump and run. I'm gonna land it 10 foot past the fringe and let it just roll out. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Get it past the hole, people. Get it past the hole. Dang, everything looks so short. Like back there, I could have swore I got like two or three foot left. Nope, we got a whole seven footer. Ah, oh, honestly, honestly can't believe that. I thought I had that. This is where the jitters start coming in. But this is, take it easy, nice. Just take your bow, walk away. Running out of holes to get birdies on though, I'll tell you that much. Can't believe I let that one slip away. I can't believe that. I got a weird pattern going on today. I went par bogey, par bogey, par bogey. Bogey's on the par fives though, which is, what? That's crazy, like, that's why golf's weird. So yeah, I got 90 yards right here. Uh, I got to 10 o'clock a 60 degree wedge nowadays to go 90 yards. It's crazy, huh? Full swing wedge goes like 125. Stupid. Dang boy, that would have been in the hole. That's that, that's that 10 o'clock. 60 degree wedge. Thank you, Bryson. All right, guys. 18 feet for the bird. It's breaking right at the end. Like right at the end, it's going this way. We're gonna go left edge the whole way. I love riding negative whatever on the scorecard it feels so good got my first bird on the channel there's been a bird on this channel before but the whole video i didn't turn on the microphone and this microphone is going to be a meme one day did you turn on the mic man did you turn i might make a merch that say turn the mics on don't know but now we're i have no idea what we're looking at we have we have 200 yards i think so i'm gonna rip a five iron over there did I say five iron? I meant four. Oh, no, no, no. I could snap this club right now. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, keep it moving. Keep it moving. I'm going to punch out with a five. I'm going to aim. I'm just going to aim right for the bunker because I can put out that bunker. Go, go, go. Oh my God, yes, yeah, stop. 
That's my best punch out ever. Best punch out ever. All right, I say we got like 50 feet. Now I did practice these earlier, little flops and stop, but there's really no point for me to flop this. I got a bunch of room. It's in the middle. I'm not gonna bump and run because if I bump and run, even though it's my safest club, I could hit this fringe and shoot left. So I'm gonna get this over the fringe and start it rolling. Stop. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's crazy, bro. Eight o'clock? Really? That means I would have to go like seven. All right, let's go clean that up. Got like 45 foot, I'm gonna bump and run. I messed up guys, I started, started getting ahead of myself. I started saying, oh, you only got two holes left, you got this. Never count the holes, bro. Never count your holes. Oh, you gotta stay, you gotta stay locked in on each and every shot. Each and every shot you gotta stay locked in on. It's crazy. Hit the crotch ball, dude. I get I deserve that. I deserve that. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know what just happened. Is that a triple? Is that a triple bogey from the from the, from the Reds? I got no words, guys. Uh, I lost my head on that hole. I lost it from the get-go. And I don't even know how to explain that one. I'm gonna move on to the next one. One more. That's hard to get over. I keep trying to use my mental tools to calm down. I low-key don't want to calm down. <laughs> That's even worse. I dropped my pencil. Oh my gosh, guys. I dropped my pencil, but it's okay. I don't need my pencil. I don't even know why I was reaching for the pencil. I got a... 350 yard no 334 yard par 4 straight ahead driver it is I just hit that out of bounds alright guys that's the end of the video gonna drive, gonna drive, gonna drive. Right, guys don't know what happened on yes I do know what happened on those last two holes my girlfriend called me we're getting a puppy and she was showing me this other puppy and that's all it takes in this game. You to lose concentration for one minute. Next thing you know, you're just, you're completely off. But the first seven holes was doing pretty good. Bogey, par bogey, par bogey, par bogey, bird, triple bogey. Didn't even finish that last hole. I would have dropped, been playing four. Nah, shit's crazy. So, we'll try again next time, guys. Let's see what I did score. Three, four, five, six. I don't even know what I would've got, but I didn't break even at all. Matter of fact, I shot better from the blues the other day than I did from the reds today. I would've ended without that last hole. I was at, it was 42. 42 from the reds, man. It just makes you, it makes you come up with all kinds of different little things because you gotta use different clubs and you're using every one of your wedges now. So, yeah, it's definitely a challenge. I'm gonna go ahead and chalk up that last hole as a hit one, drop two, hit three from the tee, chip it up on the green, probably miss for the bow, and end up with a double. Let's go two there, so I would have shot a, a 44. So we're gonna try to beat 44 next time from the red. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't, please subscribe. If you made it this far, you are better than the 14% of the rest of the people watching these videos. They only make it to like a minute 50, so. Thank you for watching this. Uh, this is something I want to do, and I will catch you guys later. Gonna drive away, drive out to California.